Hey guys, it's Kenny with Archfold. I bring you another tech tip. Uh, this is going to be a simple one today, guys. What I have here is, uh, this is just plain packing. It's, it's the foam that comes with the set of wheels that you buy. Uh, and what we do with this, if you notice, uh, I'm sure a lot of you have come across this issue with uh, whether it's a Trail Finder or the D90-110, any of those models. When you run your wires across the top of the battery tray, and you sit your battery and the battery's sitting right on the wires. Over time, that's going to keep rubbing the wires, wear the insulation off, and end up cutting the wire, shorting something out. Now, I have seen people run their wires underneath, um, but if you're like me and have that kind of luck, you're going to find that one branch or that one stick or something that's going to get up there and get into those wires and either rip a wire or unplug something, and it could put uh, an end to your day or temporarily put an end to your day. So two options one you can go with just one center piece or you can do three pieces one in the center and then two short ones on the outside the one thing if you do whether you do one or the three pieces you want to keep in mind is where your screws uh, tap in or go into your chassis for your battery plate you want to put just a little half moon so you can get the screw in and out if you ever have to take the battery plate off a couple options uh, on attaching the foam you can use uh, CA tire glue you know, that's more of a, a permanent method, or you can use a uh, shoe goo, which will allow you to peel that up and remove it if you ever have to, you know, if, you're, if you ever need to. Um, one of the things to remember when doing this, uh, if you run a full interior like I do, the battery uh, will normally sit, you know, about center on the tray. But if you're in a full interior, you're going to want to slide that battery as far back as your straps will let you. So with this, I have the buckles on this side. You probably want to run them on the other side. So when you cinch it down, you're pulling to the back. Now, the reason for that is just that little bit of foam is going to take up that gap and make that body really difficult to get on with the full interior. You can still get it on, but it's, it's a little bit of a hassle. So by moving this back just a bit, you get that enough clearance where you can still get the body on, not an issue. Now, if you're not running interior, of course, you don't have to worry about it. You can strap it down right where it's at. Hope this tech tip helps. Leave your comments down below and we'll see you out on the trails.